Well, hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. And we are on June 14th, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to a very busy day here in Calgary as cleanup crews. And so one of the hardest hit areas, uh, Terradale, just north of Asado Ridge. From a nasty hailstorm. Cleanup is underway everywhere. But further northward, as you head into Redstone and Skyview, the conditions were even worse. And we're gonna start out here looking at our sun. We'll get back to that in just a moment here. Just looking at the first two weeks here of Lasco 2 image, as we watched two CMEs fire off in the first couple weeks here of June, that bright fiery planet going around the sun that was Venus. But this is most recent, this just happened on the 13th. So that is heading our way. We're looking at our sun today, 304 angstroms, not much to talk about. Departing sunspot. And we do have a small coronal hole, Earth facing. And it looks like we do have a lot of action on the backside coming around. This is outgoing. Very busy day across the planet and on our sun. Looking at a real time solar wind as we are steady and calm at 300 kilometers per second. That is a normal solar wind speed, 300 kilometers per second. Looking here at the annual spiral, Iswa, showing that pulse just missed the Parker Solar Probe. Looking at the Schumann resonance for today, we did have a couple spikes over the past 48 hours. Very large spikes at that. We're sitting at an amplitude of 82 and 8.05 hertz. Energetic, I would say. Let's get to earthquakes here the last 24 hours. Most recent here, 5.4 in Russia. After all of those earthquakes in Japan yesterday, large earthquakes and as well Mariana's Trench. We're looking here, aftershocks in Japan, 5.4, Yonanaki, Japan, 5.2, 4.6, 4.8, and a 4.6 to follow. And this was yesterday, 6.2, 622 kilometer depth though. Wow, very deep earthquake indeed. And just recently here, 4.6, deep 563 kilometer depth in Tonga and watching a lot of movement across the India plate line up into Eurasia. 5.1 here in India, 5.1 in Iran, and as well a 5.9 sizable here in Turkey, 10 kilometer depth. This is all just today, guys. Very busy day for earthquakes, very busy day on this planet for humanity. Thoughts and prayers to everyone. Dominican Republic still rocking. But South America, North America, very quiet over the past 24 hours. The only earthquake in North America, 4.2 in Idaho. So stay safe and aware, Cascadia, down into San Andreas. Let's get to the last seven days for earthquakes. And you can see North America is very quiet compared to the rest of the planet. Very busy west side ring of fire and up into the India plate. Watch for aftershocks to continue throughout Turkey today. But yeah, definitely the movement, crustal movement has changed and it's uh, everywhere else but in North America right now. So stay safe. We could, ha we could have it come back in a big way. Let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center here showing the most recent volcanoes being updated. Noshinoshimo in Japan, Sabankaya in Peru, Sangay in Ecuador, Asosan in Japan, Popo in Mexico, Shevelech in Russia, Fuego in Guatemala, Dokodo in Indonesia, Kluchevskoy in Russia, Reventador in Ecuador. Very busy. It keeps going. And Semeru in Indonesia. So that's 13 volcanoes being updated in the past 24 hours. I think it's time for a volcanic activity report. We're going to please look forward to that tomorrow. Stay tuned to the Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. And as well, check out dailyeventsworldwide.com. Tropical Storm 
over uh, South China moving into Taiwan right now, into Vietnam. It's only a Category 1 storm, nothing serious. But the monsoon rains are really starting to pick up across Micronesia and into Asia. Over western parts of North America, very nasty storms went through Alberta and are going to be heading northward. Let's get to the five-day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteor Mike. Starting out here, Calgary, Alberta, always home base as we did have those storms roll through and in the five-day forecast they're going to continue for the next three days but the temperature that we had what two days ago it was a 27 degrees it felt like it was 32 so we did have some extreme heat and then we when we've got extreme evaporation coming off those foothills we're going to watch for that very convective and dangerous storms to happen rolling off of the foothills. And that's what happened last night and the night before. Just to stay safe, my friends and family here in Calgary, I appreciate everybody tuning in. And please stay tuned for more detailed local forecasts. Overlooking at the east side of the nation, not much to talk about, very dry except for coastal regions, South Carolina, North Carolina, watching a low develop on the coastline there. Central America, heavier rains through Ecuador, up into Guatemala still. Daily evaporation rains across South America, heavier region through Venezuela. Also watching a very large and vigorous low here affect Argentina over the next few days. It's going to spawn off a bunch of storms on the backside. Heading through eastern Argentina. Overlooking Africa as those cool temperatures are continuing across South Africa. High pressure ridge in place. And it is stirring up a little bit of moisture. Not much to talk about though for Africa, for moisture at all. Heavier rains in Nigeria, that's pretty much it. Overlooking Europe, widespread showers as low pressure center has moved in and is kind of stagnant over the nation. Looking across India and into Micronesia, watching these monsoon rains really pick up. Large low pressure center just east in, in East India, moving into Nepal. Watch for heavier, heavy rains, torrential downpours. And as well, some extreme storm conditions. Overlooking Australia, very cool, dry, high pressure ridge locked in place. No moisture till later in the week, thanks to a low just south of you guys. I want to thank you all for watching today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please like that. Hit the like button. We can leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern. Much love to you all. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning due. Bye-bye.